And now, Vince's take inside the episode. We look back at the season, and I know it's very difficult to look at some of that footage. What did you learn from that experience? We both are responsible. And I feel more strongly about that than I ever did before. You have to take ownership of what goes on in your life. If you love somebody, your love don't change. I you didn't gotta, say your love changed. No, well, you said so you can keep the love, so you can keep the relationship. You keep the, you keep the that love, doesn't change. change the relationship. Mm, shut the f up. Oh, I think we should bring in another manager. Bring him in. I don't care. On the other side, it's happiness for me and you. It's broke for you, so fix it. And I think a lot of times we're so quick to point the finger and never really look at ourselves. And I don't want to be that kind of man. I want to be that kind of guy that understands that, you know what, every day is not perfect. You're not going to be perfect, but you can damn sure work hard at it. You just have to realize that your happiness comes from within. It's nothing that's around you. It's not a place that you go. You know, it's not nobody you date. It's not nobody you marry. The bluebird lives within. Your happiness is yours. What is the state of your relationship with Tamar? At the time when the release party was going on, we were in a bad position. It wasn't good at all. I mean, it just was a lot of tension and just wasn't, it wasn't good. Let me explain something to you. At the 11th You're hard to manage. You can't express how you feel because Tamar wants you to say what she wants you to That's say when she wants you to say. You can't talk because you want to talk over me, so it's okay. I was hurt, I was upset, I was disappointed. I was like, when you really love somebody, you really love that person. And I was experiencing a lot of hurt and a lot of pain. And, you know, did I not express it? Probably not. If I look back on it, wish I didn't do it? Absolutely. Am I a better place and happy about it today? Yes, I am. But, you know, it's just, it's what you go through. It's called life. This is my new apartment. So what, does Vincent Herbert know about this? Well, not exactly. You haven't told Vince? No, he doesn't know about this place yet. When you saw the footage and saw Tamar show EJ and James the apartment, how did you feel about that? Do you still hurt from that apartment? Absolutely, because who wants somebody that they love to be away from them? That's not a marriage. I just felt hurt about it. Because I wouldn't do that. How does it make you feel when you look at that footage? When I look at that footage, it's very disappointing, very hurtful, very, um, not what I would want for us. Before I had an opportunity to tell Vince about the apartment, he knew about the apartment. So for me, I don't know, it just made me feel very weird about the whole situation. That made me feel like I was being followed because I only told two people and these two people I trust. Tamar thought that she, you had followed her. What was all that about? A lot of times when you're going through something, you just start assuming everything. I don't care about, I don't do that. But one thing I do have is what they call a sense of intuitive, when you know something's going on, like your gut doesn't lie to you. My gut is always right. You feel things and you get these vibes and these feelings, pay attention to that because your body and your mind is talking to you. No, in a million years, I anticipate getting no divorce. You always gotta fight for something you believe in. I'm willing to fight for my marriage and my family because that's what's important to me. I am still very much in love with Vince. It's like, I feel cracked and broken and... Yeah. Do you think there's some working out somewhere? I have no idea what the future holds. I'm not even gonna lie. Seeing her say that she still loves me and she wants to work this marriage out, it's definitely, definitely a great feeling because that's all I want. I just want my wife and my family. And I just want to see her happy. And I want to see us happy and our kid be happy. And it, you know, it's not me and her anymore, it's us and ours. And we lost that. What are your predictions for tomorrow, for the future, for you and Tamar? I don't really have any predictions. What I do have is that we're healing, we're friends, we're in a much better space. We've overcome a lot of different things, and we're doing it together with our family. I'm grateful for what we went through, because when there's grace, there's hope, there's love. I'm very grateful.